Primary season is also stirring up conversations about election reform, especially after allegations of ballot tampering in Bridgeport. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones live at the Capitol with more this morning. Good morning, Marcy. Good morning, Caitlin and Nicole. While many investigations are still underway as to what exactly happened in Bridgeport, both sides of the aisle agree in part that more needs to be done to protect the integrity of our election cycles. Now, this is a proposed legislation actually aimed to address fraud. However, some say it doesn't go far enough. Following an unprecedented situation last November in Bridgeport, when a video surfaced showing a city employee, also a Mayor Ganim campaign support, Porter, stuffing envelopes into a ballot box, prompting a judge to order two new elections. To help fight fraud, some are calling for voter rolls to be updated, a photo ID in order to vote, a one-year prison sentence for those found guilty of election fraud, and a temporary hold on ballot drop boxes. Now, the reform proposals, which recently got bipartisan report, include mandatory video recording at all drop boxes, more scrutiny of absentee ballots, and faster processing of fraud investigations. Back out here live currently when it comes to punishment, there is up to a five-year penalty in prison. Reporting live in Hartford, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.